Hello, Jess Too Good here with a review of the Lego Town Milk Delivery Truck Set. Now, this was a promotion with Tyne Dairies in Norway and it was released back in 1999. It has a total of 95 pieces and one minifigure. The Tyne Worker minifigure of the set has a stickered torso. Yeah, they used to do this back in the day, especially with sponsored sets like this. I guess sponsored isn't the right term, but, you know, sets that would capture, say, McDonald's. Like, the McDonald's worker in that set had a stickered torso. Stuff that's tied to an existing brand or whatever. But he does have the classic smiley face and just a regular blue cap. Back to the build of the set, I've never seen a dairy or milk truck in my life, but this looks like a milk truck. <laughs> like, the color scheme here is white and blue, and the design and everything with the shaping. I think LEGO did their job really well at capturing a milk truck. Now this is Norway's biggest dairy producer, and so it's probably based off of a specific truck, but I think LEGO did a good job capturing. And I do like that four wide design that's very classic of LEGO Town, but you do have enough space to wheel products inside, which we'll take a look at those later. These side parts are stickers though, keep that in mind. And then for the front passenger area, you could easily lift up this ceiling, but it's connected via these parts right here, so the roof doesn't get disconnected. And you could fit a minifigure sitting down. A little bit of a tight fit, but uh, there you go. Oh no, the bottom wheel came off. There you go. Also, there's even passenger doors, which that's a rarity for Lego trucks. I don't have too much else to show with the truck. Let's take a look at those products. And I say products because I think this is milk right here. And this might be cheese, but I'm not entirely sure. We also have a little trolley to wheel them in. But like I said, this back section fits them pretty well. And you could fit a lot more than just those two. But that's it for the build this set. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. I already took a look at the box, but man, I love that background. Very, very Norwegian looking, even though I've never looked at Norway or been there. That was a very American thing to say. And we have an Ultra Build at the back. Same with the instructions, which have that great look at the front. Ultra Build at the back. So overall, the Lego Town Tyne Milk Truck is a concept that I wish they did again. I mean, not Tyne specifically, but just a milk or dairy truck. It may be a little bit weird for Lego City since we just kind of see dairy transportation trucks, but still, I would like it. Who knows what we'll see in great vehicles in the future. This is that classic four white town design, so maybe I have a bit bias there, but I do really like how this build looks. It doesn't hold up to today's standard, but again, it is a different time and it fits in that time period. But that's just my two cents. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.